Last time we developed a PML that could absorb electromagnetic waves in two dimensions. Now we want to implement this PML on the right side of our grid. To implement this PML, we need to implement the first equation shown here on this slide. As the update equation for the EZ component in the PML region of the grid. In other words, we need to implement a regular EZ update since this part is the same as what we have for a regular update. But then in the PML region at every i and k plus a half, which is the same location as all the EZ components in the PML region, there is an extra term that we need to add, this delta x times psi. Now in our model, to simplify things, we've been calling delta x just delta. It's the same in the y direction, as, or the z direction as well. And the expression for psi is given here. It's the second equation on this slide. Here we can see that b and c, these coefficients, only depend on sigma. So here's the expressions for b and c, and they only depend on sigma at the ez locations within the PML. So they only change with depth into the PML, and so sigma can be, is going to be one-dimensional, c can be one-dimensional, b can be one-dimensional as well. Psi, on the other hand, we can see needs to be two-dimensional. Here is the other equation that we need to implement in the PML region of our code. That is, we need to implement this first equation on this slide as the update equation for the HY field components in the PML. As for the EZ fields, this HY update is a regular update up until here, and now we need to tack on this extra term in the PML region. This second equation on this slide shows how we can solve for the psi values for the HY components in the PML. Notice that this equation for psi only uses the difference of the EZ fields, it's right here, and not the EX fields, whereas the HY update calls on both EZ and EX. The reason is only the changing EZ fields in the x direction contribute to electromagnetic wave propagation in the x direction. And we want the PML to only absorb waves propagating in the x direction. As a result, the damping coefficient, this c, is only multiplied by the difference of the EZ fields. Take a moment and make a list of everything you think we need to change in our two-dimensional FDTD code in order to implement these PML updates as shown on this slide and the previous slide. And we only want to implement the PML on the right side of the grid.